What's up, Sportman family? It's your boy, Sportman. Today, we're talking about Konami's newest product coming out this week, the 25th Anniversary Tin, Dueling Heroes Mega Tin. Now, listen, everybody. We made this video three weeks ago, and I said it would be a flop. Why? Giving out Course Industry Careers as candy is never a good idea. It depreciates the rarity. It depreciates all the Course Industry Secret Rare cards in this tin and in previous sets. Because it's not seen as valuable, it's not seen as a collectible thing anymore. If you're giving out a rarity for free, it's never going to be a collectible thing. It just won't. So for those that disagree with me, I'm sorry, like, you're wrong. The market shows that. The market will always show that. Um, it is a cool card. Guys, girls, listen. If you buy this product, you open it up, it's cool to open, it's cool to actually have one and shine the light and do your thing and show in collection. But it's not a collectible sense in that type of way where it doesn't hold that much value. You know? Now, you can collect what you love, collect what you want, and open what you love. And I get all that. And definitely, you should. I definitely will buy this product in terms of just opening one or two of them. I'm not buying a bunch of them. I'm definitely just pick up all the singles because why would I buy a bunch of these? It makes no sense. I'm not trying to waste my money now. Um, and at $22 MSRP, we're going to take a look at what... These tins are already holding at value at a pre-sale price. It's absolutely embarrassing. You know, we talked about the Core Century Secret Rares failing. I didn't expect the reprint cards inside the packs to fail, though. I actually didn't. And they did. And I could I could tell why. One, there's two Prismatic Secret Rares per pack now. So now you're getting a more easier chance to get what you need, right? From these packs, which is nice. But what happened is, is that they didn't spread out all the good cards into other rarities. Commons, rares, supers, ultras. All the good cards are in Prismatic Secret Rare. So you're pretty much skipping all of the cards just to get to Prismatic Secret Rare. So you kind of depreciated everything about the tin. I said maybe they put Ubel in here, some new Ubel, the, the older Ubel cards with the new Ubel support coming out. That would be a great idea because... Good marketing for your product coming out soon. They didn't do that either. You know, there's a lot of fail opportunities for Konami um, that they've missed out on doing such things like this. And here's another example. Why would you stack all the good cards in one rarity? That makes no sense to me. That it actually doesn't make any sense. Um, Konami's product has just been doing so bad and it's it's, it's not good. I, I keep on talking about it in all these market watch videos I'm doing and a lot of people that I disagreed in this video listen I'm coming from the sense of a market I'm not coming at an emotional point of view so if you're watching this watch it with a sense of not an emotional standpoint not an emotional take not a I'm just trying to have fun open packs Don't, we're not this is a type of video for the market for financials to understand investments in, in, in terms of the future if you should be investing in a product like this and the answer is no. All right, everyone. So if we look over here now, we're looking at all the Megaton pre-sale prices. And we're seeing here the case selling for 163.32. Now, if you divide that by 12 because there's 12 tins per case, that is a valuation of $13 and some change. That's not good at all. To be honest, they should be at least $17 per tin in a case if you're buying one. Like right here should be that price this should be at $22 always it should hold what it is valued to be but it's not it's not it's $17 already it's gone below MSRP at pre-sale price can you imagine what happens a week or two from now where this is going to be at it's probably going to be at like $12 and the case is probably going to be below like $11 $10 I don't know how that happens already the product hasn't even come out and it's failed. You know, I looked at Soul Burn Volcano as a set and I said, it can't get worse than that. It's gotten worse. In terms of the market, in terms of price, it's become so volatile. I mean, this year has become so volatile. All the cards that they have brought out, the products they have brought out, it's so volatile. The Core Century Secret Rares, the way they went about it was the worst way. I'm sorry. For those that disagree, you're just wrong. Look at the products that have come out. 
yeah, they're cool. Dualist Nexus is actually a really cool product. I actually love Dualist Nexus. I wish it, it succeeded. I wish some of the cards there succeeded. I think there's some really good stuff there, like, that being undervalued, to be honest with you. But the market says otherwise. And I am someone that listens to the market. I don't listen to opinions. I don't listen to, oh, it should be this price, or it's going to be this price. It's No, I look at the market, and it, what it says it, is what it is. All right? So... I read what's on paper, and if it's telling me it's that on paper, it's that on paper. Your course and your secret rare, the highest value card right now is $8 by Star Striking at pre-sale. So, for those that are wondering, yes, pre-sale prices are at the highest for the most part. So if we look at that trend, if we look at what's been going on, this will most likely be a $4 to $5 card. Maybe even below. People are saying it's going to be much more. No, it's not. It's easy, accessible. Easily accessible to get these cards. These tins will be opened up a lot. Don't get it mistaken. They will. But promos will never do well in a market because there's a bunch of them that you can get. It's easy to get. Now, you're saying yourself there's like 15 or 16 different ones you could possibly get. But it doesn't matter if there's a bunch of them being opened. If there's too many things out there in the market of a card, the evaluation of the card is never going to be high because it's easy to get. That's just always been true. If you look 10 years from now, will it be hard to get? Sure. But will there be a lot of them out there? Yes. So will it be at a $40 price point? No. It will not. It'll probably be like $10, $12. It's not going to be high, guys. They're being given out for free. Why would they be high? They're hard to get because it's 1 out of 15? No. No. <laughs> no. If, the, if that was the case, it would be high right now. The price would be high. Obviously, it's not indicating that, right? So I was right. These tins are a flop. I just didn't expect the main cards, the reprinted cards here to be a flop. With... The highest card in here is Bishop Bellion at $17. So even at MSRP price, if you were to pick up this one at Target for $22, you're not making back your money. If you were to pick up on TCG Player and you still have to pay shipping and tax, you're not making back your money if you pull the highest card in the set. You would have to pull this card and some other cards. The tins have failed. The market has failed these tins. But Konami has definitely failed us. First of all, first of all, because I have to, I have to show you guys this. If you didn't see it already, which I'm sure a lot of you did, they have the alternate artwork of Red Eyes on this tin, but we are getting the OG artwork of Red Eyes. So who's ever working at Konami? You should no longer be working there in terms of whoever designed this product, who's ever is marketing this product, who's ever just in charge over there. Out. Fired. Yesterday. Not today. Yes. You should have been gone already. If you're not. Already gone. You can't make mistakes like that. You can't. There's too many mistakes being made this year already to have a mistake being made like that. The tin is already a bad design tin. Now you're just adding on more as to why it's even worse. I don't know, guys. Dual Nexus has failed as well. Look at this set. Look at all the prices of this set. Look at the box. Since last week, I thought, wow, $52 for this. Or what, what was it? 40 It was $49 or $50, I think it was. And I was like, wow, that's a great price. $42 now? What are we smoking on? Why is this so low? It's insane. But it's probably going to keep going down because there's no cards worth pulling in here. The highest card you could pull in here is Chimera at what? $22? My God. And some of the cards in Shikri is if you pull it, you're not even guaranteed it making back your money on the box itself even. I mean... It's insane. We all talked about Magician Bonds being at $200 and people saying it's going to stay at that price. It's not going to go. 
bruh, it's already at 160 and it's still going down. To be honest, I could see going down all the way to 110. And that's me being positive and trying to have a good spin and light of the card. Because honestly, it's it's cool, but it's not anything great. Um, Revolution card is still going down. I was being optimistic, I, I guess, at 140 when I said that would be its lowest. It's definitely gone below 140 now. Yeah, it, 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 this year has failed. Konami has failed this year. I mean, the same with this box. Monstrous Revenge has definitely not done anything. I don't even know how this, how this box is worth $54, to be honest with you. This should be at the same price point as Duelist Nexus. I guess some of the course industry careers are better in here. I get, you know, with IP, Divine Arts, Double A Zeus, and Best Rebellion, but still. I don't know. It just... They just didn't do it right with these core century secrets. They didn't. They, they didn't have a plan. They just brought out product and hope it would succeed, and we caught on. As a community, we caught on, and we called the Konami out on their shit. All content creators did. I'm happy we did. We should be doing that more. When they make a mistake, let them know they made a mistake so they don't do it again. This year, you've made a mistake, Konami. And you thought you could get away with it, and you didn't. And locals and online shops are going to punish you now because they're not making any money on their product. These tins are already below so much money that people... I mean, I feel bad for locals. I feel bad for online shops. They're, they're losing so much money on these things. The tin hasn't even come out, and they're already losing money. Can you imagine that, everybody? I wish we can go back to the day where cross that designator with a hundred dollars plus. At least, at least there was some hype to start the tin off, even though the cross that designator dropped pillow like ten dollars at some point. At least there was some hype around it. There's just no hype with this one. There's no hype, and it's sad. It's depressing, but it is what it is. We're at the age where Konami is getting lazy, and they're just greeting off people hoping that they will buy their products and we're just not going to do that anymore we're just going to buy singles we're not buying your product so hopefully they see us hopefully they make changes i mean it is what it is but and i don't i hate to make these types of videos i really do because i want to make more positive market type videos but it's hard to be it's hard to put a positive spin on it when it's just i mean you're looking at a total depression <laughs> literally it is what it is. Hopefully things change. Uh, I'm, I have high hopes for Rarity Collection. I have high hopes for the Structure Deck, Jack Atlas, Structure Deck coming out, the Crimson King. I, I really do have high hopes for those things. Will it succeed? I don't know, but I have high hopes. I do. Um, and hopefully Konami takes a step back next year. They evaluate some things and they just do better. They really do. Maybe Megatins are just not the move anymore. Maybe we should just get rid of the Megatins and do something else. And people might not like that, but maybe maybe it's time to move on from Tins. Maybe it's, it's just not the move anymore. It hasn't been the move the past three years. It's shown us it hasn't. So why would we continue on a trend that's failing? That's just my th thought process on it. Do a better job on the Tins, maybe, for next year, but... It just, it doesn't seem like we're going to positive light with these tins every year. So, all right. Well, that's basically it. That's all I want to talk about today. Let me know your opinion in the comment section down below. I want to hear what you got to say. Like I said, I knew these tins would be a flop. I just didn't know it would be this bad. And yeah, that's basically it. From your truly Sparkman, we'll catch you in the next one. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and peace out, YouTube. Just to save you, I give all of me.